Welcome to another video today, back to back, and we're probably gonna do back to back to back again. So right now we are gonna watch Marvel Spider Man Two. Of course, if you don't, if you know or you don't know, I completed both of the games. They're both fully in my channel. They're all there. But today we're gonna react to Spider Man Two, so I'm all caught up to the story and actually understand it more. And it's really crazy to me that no one wants to give me credit that I was calling a lot of things. From the second trailer, because I didn't play the first one, the second one, when the, when the first time Spider-Man 2 came out, I was calling a lot of things, but no one wants to point it out. So we're going to react to the second one. And yeah, there's two videos. There is an expanded Marvel New York, and there is a digital deluxe trailer. So if the this was the same as this one, we'll just skip it. But well, for right now, we're going to watch this one. Let's get it. <laughs> Oh, Lizard. I forgot that he, he was actually announced recently. <clears throat> this is Brian Intahar, Senior Creative Director at Insomniac Games. Thank you for all of your amazing feedback to our demo at the showcase earlier this year. Marvel Spider-Man 2 is filled with an amazing story and story missions. But today I'm here to provide you with a first look at how the open world experience is evolving and how the game is built to take full advantage of the PlayStation 5. The first thing you'll notice is that our city has nearly doubled in size with the addition of two iconic New York boroughs, Queens and Brooklyn. Nice. And we've introduced the web wings, an entirely new mechanic that, when combined with web swinging, allows you to traverse the city in a whole new way and at faster speeds than ever before. Whether it's a neighborhood backdrop of Queens or the fireworks that light up the sky over Coney Island, exploring these areas will feel much different than the towering skyscrapers of Manhattan, while also delivering memorable locales like Peter Parker's old stomping grounds in Midtown High and Miles Morales' current place of learning, Broken Visions Academy. Hey, Miles, what's nice. up? Speaking of our heroes, Marvel Spider-Man 2 will introduce the ability to switch between the two wall crawlers in the open world. And thanks to the power of the PlayStation 5, you can make that switch almost instantly. <laughs> Delivering a bigger city and playing as not one, but two spider heroes were big goals for Marvel Spider-Man nice. 2. But this time around, it was equally important to provide a greater sense of exploration and discovery. As you progress through the main story, a number of new activities and storylines will become available. The majority of those will now be represented by visual cues in the world that grab your attention. Uh, such as a flock of Craven's Talon drones circling a building, oh, okay. a mysterious symbol projected into the sky, or even an unfamiliar spider bot ping emitting from one of the rooftops. Many activities, like the hunter's cloaked blinds that overlook the Big Apple, lead to even greater challenges yet yield worthy rewards and new information about Marvel's greatest hunter, Kraven. Others will lead to a climactic showdown with Marvel villains Whoa, not yet seen in the Spider-Man universe. God, the Spider Heroes have new AR tech in the lenses of their masks, providing a quick glimpse of activities already discovered or helping locate new ones yet to be revealed. You can always refer to the upgraded Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man app uh -huh. to quickly track nearby areas of interest. The app will also include incoming requests from those who call Marvel's New York home. Nice. Some will ask for either spider hero to help, while others, like the students of Brooklyn Visions calling upon Miles, will require you to put on the mask of a specific hero. All these activities, including crimes you stop from the game's various enemy factions, also now feed into the new district progress system, which even provides more rewards Outer. and unlocks our brand new nice. lots and lots of suits. Marvel Spider-Man 2 will feature over 65 oh, suits from the comics, movies, and multiple original designs. And thanks to the all-new suit style system, you'll now have more than 200 different ways to outfit your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. <laughs> On behalf of Insomniac Games, what we is couldn't the be more excited about what this expanded city has to offer and all the new ways you'll experience Marvel's New York. We look forward to seeing you swinging around in Marvel Spider-Man 2 when it launches October 20th, only on PlayStation 5. Oh, that was hard, dude. I'm sorry, but Miles Morales is just harder, dude. Jesus. Okay, now let's react to the digital one, because I think that one will probably give us like a little small. That's 
Lisa. Interesting stuff. That's really good. I guess we can talk about the fact that my boy Spider-Man has his robotic arms which i was really like in the first one when i saw that he got the my favorite iron suit that he gets um he's not using the arms which was really disappointing honestly because i was like dude that really sucks because it would be cool to really see him use those arms those are cool outfits interesting is this not this no not the original suit is it it might be the suit from the mcu this is a Tom Holland ones, the Stark spider suit, the black one that he makes. It's like an alternate version. I also like the original. This guy has a Batman cloak on going on, dude. Shout out to all the Batman heroes. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's see. I'm pretty sure the Venom suit. We're not gonna. We're not gonna be on it for too long. I'm pretty sure, me personally, I'm going to have to do side missions for me to actually enjoy. Because what happens is, is that he ends up taking it off at one point. Honest to God. He's going to take it off. Watch. And they got to stop bringing up the SSD at this point. Generation 5 SSD just got announced, too, if no one knows that. But Generation 5 just came out. And it is literally two, three times faster. Literally three times faster than the SSD from the PS5. So... Sony dropped that shit already. We get it, dude. Like you had Gen 4 SSD, you had the power, we get it. But really drop that motive now. That's just really annoying now. Cause that's the reason why people make fun of it. Cause it's like it's the same thing as coming from a Gen 4. It's not a difference. It's like it's really not a difference. There was a scene here that I saw that I really wanted to see. Is that the original spot? Is that not the original? Is that the... That looks like, um... Tommy Maguire's Spider-Man, huh? His black suit? It looks like it. I could be wrong, though. Who is that? Interesting. I'm trying to figure out who that was. I, I was trying. I, was, I thought I can guess it, but I don't think I can because he doesn't look Mysterio. Mysterio? Oh, because he's wearing purple and there's green in the background. Interesting. Watch me guess that too. I'm just saying, man. You know what's giving me props? The fact that I literally caught like two two people that I knew finished the game already and i was literally pouring out every little thing and then i played the game right and i was like oh i was right it is him and then i was like oh wow i was right that is that oh my god i was right and like i was literally calling a lot of stuff out that was just like i was like wow no one's gonna give me my credit the fact that i actually called these things and i knew already and the prowler's right there too i wonder who this is well prowler's not in i think the prowler's back huh because he was in jail and I know his sentence got his sentence got reduced because he did the right thing for Miles. Because what happens in the end of the second one? So, um, the second one, uh, the Miles Morales game. So, I can't wait to hear the comments about the flying thing from everyone because people would want to make it seem like, like it's like. Don't get me wrong, all this is fun, the swinging thing, and it, it it's really fun and everything, but it's. You do need something to to get you to one place to another, especially that these locations are really long. When I was playing the first one and Miles Morales, and when they said 3,000 and 4,000 meters, I was like, dude, that's I don't take me a while. Well, let me just fast travel over here real quick. But I was like, I kind of feel like the fast traveling kind of kills the whole thing of of trying to enjoy you being Spider-Man. So I think this was a that was a good way to in, to introduce that. I know people are not gonna like it because like, come on, Spider Man. It's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. We get it. He doesn't fly. Who gives a shit? But you had to meet you had to meet in the middle, and that's probably the best way you can do it. Honest to God, that's the best way you can do it. If Tom Holland Spider Man can do it, fuck it, they can do it too, man. This guy's already a resemblance to Tom Holland, so you might as well just give him the flying. That's Mysterio. I, I'm gonna say it with that. That's Mysterio. 
100% Mysterio. Because <laughs> we got the Lizard, Venom, Craven. Yeah, it might be Mysterio. I was saying Mysterio would be nice to... I haven't seen Mysterio in a while. The app thing comes back again. We need, yeah, new finishers, please. Because I just saw um, uh, Miles do one that I already saw before. That's cool. I like that tag team things they're doing there. All right, so far, so good. Uh, that I don't reach much to say, guys. Just the fact that I'm excited to play the game. Nothing. It's not really shocking. I'm excited to play the game. I know the game's going to be wonderful. I know the game has a lot to live for right now, especially with the fact that Starfield just came out. And I know that's going to be a very huge competition between two console wars right now. But I think Spider-Man's going to be just fine, even if it doesn't succeed more than Starfield. Spider-Man 2 has a lot of hype, especially with Venom on top of it. And hoping we never see a bunch of other villains. Uh, Lizard's confirmed. And if Mysterio's also confirmed, yeah, dude, this might be my favorite Spider-Man. Because the fact that we get to play both of them not just singling them out which is one game and another one playing both of them just makes it even better so really excited so yeah guys like share subscribe and on to the next one